Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. So let's take a look at the energies for your next 7 days. What needs your attention? 9 of Cups, 9 of Wands, the Emperor and the 2 of Cups. So guys, for some of you there can be a transition available because the combination of energies that I am looking at is the one between the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior, someone on a defensive mode, someone that can almost wait for someone else to bring forward a menace, an attack. And this can describe the past for some of you. The death card that we got as our focus is the opportunity to embrace a revolution, a major change. We got the Oracle card, change, towards the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment, satisfaction, peace, a quiet place for some of you. The complete opposite, if we think about the Nine of Wands version of the card. This is mainly about love for some of you, the Two of Cups energy. You have grown the Emperor. You have grown along the journey. You have found a way to make the lessons count. Integration Oracle card. Remembrance as well. And now there can be a reward in your favor. Because maybe some of you have already met someone new. Others of you may encounter a new person that can be someone that can catch your attention, someone that can even show compassion in your favor, meaning respect, fairness, understanding, factors that can facilitate the opportunity to strengthen a bond, especially when it comes to feelings and emotions. I want to say also, guys, that some of you may have the opportunity to encounter or to deal with someone that can be a little bit older than you, if we follow this emperor, this person may represent truly the type of partner that some of you have been always looking for. But it seems that you can find this person because you have also become the most mature version of yourself thanks to the experiences, thanks to the lessons that you have learned. So let me see, guys, the Nine of Wands, Nine of Cups, combination of energies. It seems to be a progression about the journey from struggles to relief. It can take some time, of course, but you can go there, you know, you can get to your destination. Two of Swords. This is a crossroads. It follows the Death card because in this version, for me, we can say that it's about cutting the cords in order to pick a door, you know, choose a door. And there is one that is slightly open with a light behind it. So something new, something that can be better compared with previous experiences. Six of Wands, the warrior coming back from the battle victorious. Five of Pentacles, a small energy feeling left out in the cold. Maybe feeling uh, not understood by romantic partners. This can describe the past for some of you. Queen of Pentacles, remarkable energy, extremely open, reasonable, agreeable, willing to find agreements indeed with those that are deserving of such a gift. And the strength card, the matter of trust, the matter of patience, also courage, guys, which is a factor if we think about the wounded warrior and also the six of wands warrior. Guys, new connection in the romantic arena available for some of you. You have been waiting for it. Now it's coming. It's a major change. Do not be afraid by it. You can power through this transition. You have learned all the lessons that you needed to learn. You are ready to learn new lessons that can be beneficial for your development moving forward. It seems that you may have the chance to learn these lessons together with a new romantic partner that can be a stable figure, a powerful ally 
in order to go through the journey in a stronger way, in a more mature way, in a successful way as well. What you don't see coming, the Empress, the Wheel of Fortune, the Two of Wands and the Fool. Guys, considering the Death card always as our focus, uh, this one can be a new path, a new beginning, that can even be a professional one for some of you. I am not leaning towards the fact that this scenario is about um, a romantic situation. This is a major decision, Two of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, in order to even travel, change location, pursue a different path in your career, maybe a new job, something that can offer in your favor growth, the Empress, development, stability, and new opportunities in the Romantic Arena moving forward if we follow the fact that the Empress is pregnant in this version of the card. The Wheel of Fortune is spinning in your favor. There are a lot of factors that can be available down the road for you. You have to decide if you are ready to take the leap because it seems that some of you may receive an offer, an opportunity. It's possible that someone can make you a professional type of proposal, you know, and you have to take your word kind of in your hands, you know, and you have to decide. If you are ready for a transformation, I am looking at the Lizard in the Two of Wands and the Death card after all. It's still a major energy about a revolution. So let me see, guys, uh, the Two of Wands, because there can be multiple factors that you have to take into consideration, integration oracle card, in order to evaluate the pros and cons of this change. And so this one seems to be an important process for some of you. I also love the fact that the witch in the full Major Arcana feels victorious, so the transition can be truly positive for some of you. Judgment, completely unexpected. Completely unexpected opportunity. It's divine, considering the Wheel of Fortune. It's a long time coming for some of you. This is a make it or break it type of moment if we think about the career of a person. There is growth available. You have to decide if you want to seize the moment. Eight of Wands, communication, gaining momentum. This is also about travel, guys. Three of Pentacles. This is work. This is about your career. Professional contacts. Someone can surprise you 100%. So it is true. You are not going to see the opportunity coming your way. There can be someone that you already know. If we think about professional contacts, there can be memories involved, remembrance plus the judgment energy that can find uh, roots in the past, a blast from the past, a former professional partner, former colleague, former co-worker, maybe they have changed a location or job. You can get in touch with this person. They can present to you a sudden opportunity. It's a lucky one, Wheel of Fortune. You may very well feel excited Compassion, guys, seems to be meaningful if we think about the necessity to end an old chapter because you may have to change location, city, and so there is an important change involved in this situation. It can be beneficial, though. This one seems to be positive. You will have the chance to build new foundations in what seems to be a new place or a new situation that is going to allow you also to display your talents and you will find people that can be receptive when it comes to what you have to say. So if we think about an agreement, because you have to sign a contract, you will have a voice and chances are you may have the opportunity to deal with someone that can say to you, all right, we can find 
uh, common ground. So let's get things done as soon as possible, because it seems that on the other side of the table, there can be someone that cannot wait to have you guys on their team. And you can feel victorious, the full new beginning, new chapter of the book, new chapter of the journey, one that can be blessed by development, health and wealth. So the Wheel of Fortune is spinning. Some of you have been waiting for this moment. It can come your way. You will have to go with the flow, allow, allow this transition to happen. Major new door that can open up in your favor, guys. Lovely combination of energies. My friends, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow, so thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.